there. And I wake up. Screaming. She wakes up screaming almost every night now, whereas before it was just a, a bad dream here and there, you know? I mean, it's the same every time. What do you think it means? Hey, hey Red, we've already seen a bunch of shrinks about this. We came here for your... Your voodoo magic, or whatever it is you do. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Riley read the threads online that says you have a, a special talent of some kind. I don't know, it says you're a witch doctor or something? <laughs> Look, I don't know what rumors you've heard. But I'm just a somnologist. Or was, at least. So no, I, I don't do magic tricks. See, babe, I told you, we just need to call another psychologist. But it's real! The goal is real. I'm, I'm not crazy. You're probably suffering from a traumatic event. No, that's no, no, no. The ghoul is attacking me in my dream and nobody can help me because nobody believes me. Hey, hold up, Riley. I believe you, okay? Just okay, take it easy, all right? Let me handle it. Doc, we drove over 12 hours to get here. We're sorry to barge in on you like this. It, we're just looking for a little guidance. Riley hasn't had a decent night's sleep in months. If you don't want to help her, fine. The least you can do is just point us to someone who can. Look, I don't know how you two found my home. Now, I only invited you inside out of courtesy. I'm truly sorry for what you're going through, but I'm not practicing anymore. So I cannot offer you any professional help. Unfortunately, no. If you'll excuse me. Please, wait. Dr. Brady, you don't know what this dream is like. You've got to help me, please. Show him your arms, babe. Show him. I don't know what it is you do for people, 
But between you and me, I just think she needs a little pseudo reassurance. You know what I mean? Forgive me, but you said your name was? Brian. Well, Brian, I don't think she should be lied to either. Help me out here, man. Obviously she's hurting herself. I don't know who else to turn to. You know, she really thinks you're the only person that can help her. You gotta give me something here, man. I want you to wait outside. Why? Because if you do, then I might be able to help her. Trust me. I hope you don't mind me saying, but I think Riley Rose is a lovely name. <clears throat> Years back, I had this patient. For privacy, I'll just call her Miss Madison. An older woman, very sweet. She came to me about this nightmare she'd been having. Over. And over. She'd hear sounds coming from her yard late at night. It was horrifying for her. But we both knew this dream had to mean something. And so I pressed on it. Then she broke down, told me her son was killed in a car accident six months prior. His dead body haunting her. A zombie, if you will. What are you getting at? Nightmares are almost always correlated with traumatic experiences. And there's times where we repress these memories in order to cope. So maybe something happened to you that you have forgotten. But I haven't forgotten anything. The ghoul in my dream is what's attacking me. You know, I treated a patient who thought as you do. He told me there was this witch that stalked him every night in his dreams. She would watch in the dark. It took us a long time to go through his memories. Figure out where it came from. We dug through everything. And eventually, we found out what it was. An old film he had seen as a child. It was that simple. Look, I'm not dealing with Freddy Krueger here, all right? The point is that even the silliest things can traumatize us, Miss Rose. Our brains, they repress these kinds of memories all the time. But they... then how do you explain how I got these? Huh? Do you really think I did this to myself? I believe the trauma has caused you to repress it. But I need you to remember. <sighs> So you really, you really don't believe me then? You, you think that my nightmares are fake? Why would a ghost want to hurt you in the first place, my dear? Because they're psychopaths. They're deranged and ruthless and they find pleasure in hurting people. Please. I haven't slept in months. 
I'm scared all the time. And I swear to you, Dr. Brady, I'm not crazy. Nobody believes me and I'm all alone. And if you can't help me, then this, it's all over. It's over. Can I trust you to keep a secret? Can I? Miss Madison's son. I met him. What do you mean? Like in person? In her dream. In the nightmare. It's all true. I have a talent. I merge with dreams. You really see them? Yes. And the ghosts, they're real, aren't they? No, no, Miss Rose. Uh, they're just the reflections, a mirror of the real evil. They are not the source of your trauma. But how does it work then? Do you, do you kill the ghost in the dream? You're not hearing me. The ghost is the effect. It's not the cause. It's... I need you to focus on what's actually causing the nightmare. But that's... Not why I came here, Dr. Brady. I came here for your gift. Tell me, Miss Rose, how many times have you looked the devil in the eye? Me? I've lost count. You see, ever since I was a little boy, I've known what it feels like to walk the halls of hell. What's going on? Visiting a nightmare is not my idea of a good time. But if they're just dreams, why are you so scared? Because I don't know how I'm able to do this, Miss Rose. There is no diagnosis for it. A mutation, perhaps. I don't know. I can't explain it. And no amount of treating patients or visiting dreams ever got me closer. But maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe it is a gift. Maybe even divine and... But then if that's true, then... What do I tell God if... I don't use this gift of his. If I don't use it against the ghosts. The way I see it, Miss Rose, there are only two choices. Face the ghosts. Or the shame from God. You tell me. Which would you choose? I think that you have this gift for a reason, Dr. Brady. Now, I don't know what it is that you do in these dreams or how you do it. But I came a really long way today for a little bit of God's help. So please. If I do this, if I merge with your dream and confront this ghoul, I need you to promise me something.
It's okay. It's okay, Miss Rose. It's just me. Does it break? What are you doing here? What's going on? What was that? You listen to me. No matter what happens, you stay here in this room. Understand? But why? What are you doing? Just stay here. Dr. Reed, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Please, please just leave me here. Please, please don't leave me alone, Dr. Brady, please. Dr. Brady, please come back. Please. Hello? Dr. Brady? Gotcha. You guys are never that scary when you step into the light. How about we get this over with? Are you all right, Dr. Brady? Oh, yeah. I'm all right. You were having a nightmare. I was? Or you, maybe you weren't. Do you remember what happened? I don't know. I was having the same dream, but it was different this time. How so? I think you were there. But nothing happened. I didn't see the ghoul or anything. I was, I was in my room. I was a little scared, but... Nothing actually happened. Then maybe this means that you can finally get some sleep. Did you really enter my dream? Or did you just make me think you could? Does it matter? What matters is that you feel safe. You're going to be okay, Miss Rose. Finally. What happened in there? We were just talking. That's it. Well, what'd he say? Actually, he... He would like to talk to you. To me? Mm-hmm. Why? I don't know. He, he didn't say. You wanted to speak to me? <clears throat> yes, I, uh, I wanted to ask you something. Would you describe a ghost as a psychopath? Excuse me? Oh, they have more in common than you think. They are deceiving. They live to torment. 
N. They're very difficult to spot. Why are you asking me this? Because you are a psychopath, Brian. Tried to pass as a concerned boyfriend, huh? No. No, you're a snake. And you've been beating that poor girl for years. Lucky for you, her trauma gave you the perfect scapegoat. A ghost in her dreams. <laughs> and now you've twisted this so well that she can't even point to you as her abuser. All of it repressed. <laughs> but I know all too well how to spot a psychopath, Brian. It's a gift. So what does that make you? You're just a scam artist, aren't you? Washed up, quack. You think I'm the monster? Why don't you have a look in the mirror first, Doc? I think that was a mistake. I agree. What's going on? What? Oh, who's that? What is this? Let me go. Let me go. What's happening now? What's going on? This, this is the mirror. The magic trick. Let me go. Let me go! Who are you? What do you want? This isn't real. This isn't real. That's the thing, Brian. You're still screaming. I need you to promise me something. I need you to promise me that you will escape and no one will ever lay a hand on you again. Not here, not anywhere, not even in a dream. <laughs> 